Hey, government. Hey, um, Prime Minister. Hey, Finance Minister, Birmingham. And hey, um, uh, NDIA Minister, um, Reynolds. Yeah, Reynolds, legend. You know, you know why I'm a legend and why you guys owe me? It's because, um, I've suffered systemic oppression at the hands of the government. You wouldn't believe it. Um, have a look at the video below of Tim Goss from AFCA, who is supposed to settle things in a four-week period of vulnerable people, kicking the can down the road to stop a $2 million case from being determined. It's absolutely outrageous. Um, further to that, I'm an NDIS provider and participant. I have identified with a mental illness. Doesn't mean I should be prejudiced for it. I have uh, done a PhD in opposition to that label and passed. And you know what? I have given my life in altruism for 25 plus years um, to helping other people. That makes me a pretty good dude. And it makes all you guys cowardly pawns paid by the government to tow the party line to aid and abet my death. And that happened. It happened after a medical malpractice case in which I was grief stricken for my friend's suicide, ostracized by my unforgiving, homophobic, small minded family. And um, I suffered an overdose. I'd moved and I thought, I found the suicide note and thought, that's not cool, you know. As an ethicist and a, and a PhD graduate who knows ethics means do no wrong and don't hurt people, I brought it to task. I defended that doctor till the nth degree and it went through, I had evidence. It went through HCC, it went through APRA. Went through NHP OPC, went through IBAC, the Victorian Inspector, the Victorian Police, went through everyone. Everyone silenced that evidence that is valid that I've heard now before a court due to the Surveillance Act 1999 in Victoria. What are you going to do about it? What will you do about that knowing that the doctor who I forgive has, um, and that whole conspiracy to aid and abet my death, to kick the can down the road until I'd kill myself, um, happened. What are you going to do about it? And further, I didn't become unwell from work due to mental illness. I became unwell because my former partner, an ASIO agent who was present at murders, so he tells me, and invested $1.2 million in an offshore tax haven, which he... Um, which he was caught, he was working for ASIO, I know it sounds like a crime novel, he was working for ASIO, and he got busted, and he got a slap on the wrist. Why does Rich get no justice? I wonder if it's got something to do linked with those two people. Steve Icenides, hi Steve, how are you going? I'll accept a conciliation, if you're really interested, but I think it's too far gone for that. And also, um, the reason I left work after my PhD, running my own business for two years, with a um, working as I had always done for 25 years to help more marginalized person, people than myself was because my two vocat cases had failed. I in intervened in a violent affray. I saved someone from being killed, but it was pegged on me. How has that happened? The cops! Have a listen to the cops on my website at justkillhim.info. Uh, kill They're an amazing help. You know, people of public authority have a responsibility to act with, within the confines of the human rights law, which is legislated into this country's um, foundations. They also have the responsibility to not act in omission to um, per, um, pervert the course of justice. This is clearly a conspiracy to pervert the course of justice. And the end goal is to kill me. And it bloody well did. I had suffered this for so long. My family who oppressed me for being, you know, crazy. But, um, you know, won't see justice issues. Um, hospitalised me. 
I had proven beyond reasonable doubt that not one person was in my corner. And I stand united with myself and my dog to say I matter. And I matter real good. And I left that job as a um, uh, arts therapist and um, therapeutic support worker for the NDIA, of who I am an employee, because it says basically on the NDIA website that I am an employee, whether I'm a contractor, a sole trader or whatever, um, because I failed two VACO cases. One was the, um, the, the first a violent affray. They pinned it on me. There is video evidence from the police. They won't give me that evidence. Why? Because it uncovers the conspiracy. The second one was realising that I'd been sexually abused. Nana, believe me, who'd believe a mad person? I know what I know, and I know the truth. And um, um, I know who I am. And I know that all you people have agendas, and you have political persuasions, and you're paid like hookers to toe the party line when you don't even know me. Now, I'll tell you who I am. I'm the Human Rights Awarded Artist and Advocate of 25 years. I was a former illustrator at the Herald Sun and the Age. And also, I got fired from the Age from the homophobic manager, Jamie Brown, and the born again, um, Louisa LaRocca, um, for the catastrophic um, character assassination that the um, Herald Fund put forward saying my descent into madness and put my words underneath it. Now that book, Recovered Not Cured of Journey Through Schizophrenia, was a freaking amazing book of resilience. It was an amazing book of courage. It was a pro-feminist book and it was actually a very vulnerable, courageous and brave book. I stand by that. I stand by my ethics. You, the government, are, cons are conspiring to kill me via proxy. And I can prove it with evidence. I have proven beyond reasonable doubt on killing.info that um, you are trying to kill me because it happened. My family incarcerated me, not seeing justice. They see a mad person, you know? Because that's what they see. And I was hospitalized. I was devalued dehumanized until my broken spirit couldn't take any more. They'd locked my dog up for four days by itself and I was out of there. I slit my artery with a um I'd fought it for years, this 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 invisible silent battle against the masses and I'd fought it for years and finally I caved. I'm in a loony bit of asylum. I know I'm not crazy. I have recordings of them taking me explaining this. And they still took me. And they locked me up. They treated me heinously. Dr. Kumar, you're going to let the hand for, buddy. You knew about my former partner and the ASIO uh, connections and the tragic, bloody, toxic um, uh, relationship that that was. He was well aware and the hospital was well aware that this wasn't about mental illness. This was about oppression. This was about punishing someone for being honest. This was about punishing the truth seeker. It was about punishing the um, the avant-garde. It was about punishing the um, vulnerable and the extremely raw and the speaking truth to power. That's what it was. And they brutalized me and I killed myself successfully. So the hospital freedom of information says. And now I can't think. I have a brain injury, I reckon. Who'd know? Because in a whole entire year since I have not uh, have been at a hospital being rejected to get my own Uber home when my dad said pay your own rent when I got home, that um, my it's unbelievable. I got home homeless, squatting, no food, no job, no car, and they ostracized, neglected, and excluded me. That is not the um, appropriate way to release someone from hospital and it is not the way to look after a suicidal patient who is in the public health service this is an abomination of um of 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 an oppression that has invaded my family taking advantage of their already ingrained prejudices 
and it is a um, abomination of a systemic government oppression that happened before my hospitalisation and then again after my hospitalisation. It happened a year later when I lived in abject poverty thanks to the government who already knew that I'd suffered um, some um, mental illnesses in my past, apparently, and that I had literally killed myself and it, the, the Freedom of Information says it was successful. It was a fatal injury and a lethal attempt. After I bled out on the loony bin floor, after being disappointed by everyone in my life, including the authorities, instructed by the former um, um, rubbish of my former partner and homophobia, stigma, neglect and prejudice, I was um, rejected from that...